Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. I am going to make my way onto the next story event so that I can fight some strong trainers and maybe level up some of my Pokemon. I did a lot of leveling off screen, but... Oh, hi. Greetings, it's me, Captain Ilma. Yo, 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 check it. Wherever you meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. And here, so Cap, just give up the Pokemon, yo. Oh, you from the trainer school. You made it all the way to ha Haoli, hmm? What? You trying to act hard when we're already hard blown out there, homie? Yo, let's check these fools. Oh my, how terrifying. Only thieves steal people's Pokemon. I won't stand for it. Music Kev, wasn't it? I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. This is the Team Rocket of this game. Hi. Check out the game with my mad Pokemon skills. <clears throat> well, I'm going to show you my mad Pokemon skills, which involve me completely beating you. Oh, that's so cool, the intro. Alright. Of course. Of course. Why would it be anything else? Munchlax, you got this, Gordo? Do it. I wonder if I can take him out with it. Okay, so he's got a grass type. Usually that's leech life. It's interesting that he knows absorb instead of leech life. Well, the whirlwind's not gonna work. One more try, metronome. Luckily that's a special attack, which Gordo is particularly good at blocking. And Zubat has like nothing going for him. I'll try one more metronome and then I'll just start tackling to death. <clears throat> He's the... Uh, come on, really? Okay, we're tackling him to death. Uh, Gordo's the only Pokemon that I haven't really trained. Because I still wasn't too sure whether or not he's a legal choice. Um, I still don't know how I feel about using... Um, Z-moves yet. I'm going to have to learn more about them. Before I do... Just because it's not like they, they might be way too overpowered. That's gonna double the amount of money I I earn from this battle. And because I knew I'm gonna I know I'm gonna beat him anyway, so I really have nothing to worry about. Unless the supersonic makes things bad. Having uh, okay. I can take I can take another hit for myself. Have I mentioned how much I like the trainer in the background? Come on, Gordo, get through it. Thank you. There you go. He's gaining boosted experience points. I, I think it's just because he likes me a lot. And there's some serious gains to his attack and his... Oh, for real already? His attack and his special defense, which he's pretty good at already. I'm worried about his defense, though. I need to share it up. No fair, I was playing a different game. Let's get out this port B. Nobody has to know about this. <laughs> grunt A and Grunt B, so he called him B. That's hilarious. Again, oh my, how terrifying. Thanks to you and like, my thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? Yeah, thanks. And I'll make the next battle I have to fight early. Been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school, Professor. Okay, so I got the pronounced correct pronunciation of this because it's based on the tree. It's Kukui. Professor Kukui brought you along, and your you and your Pokemon seem to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Allow, very well then. Allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Okay. I guess we'll do another battle. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Ilma. I guess I got this. She's got two Pokemon, okay. Okay, Yungus has some serious attack power. 
Look at her pose. She looks kind of silly. Let's give the metronome a chance. Okay, look. My defense is already low enough. You do not need to leer it. That makes me nervous. If I can land a good hit with the metronome. Yeah. Dropping his speed. Let's give him one more shot. Wow. Gordo. What does that do? You know what? I just realized. I should not be using Metronome. Metronome has a chance to use Explosion. That's not a good idea. I could blow myself up. Okay, let's just take care of him now. Okay. So he's down. Gordo hits level 8, which is good. Oh, that's right. I've heard a lot about this Smeargle. Um, I don't like where he's sitting on hit points right now, so I'm going to switch out to KG. Plus, I don't know what to expect from him. This is her strongest Pokemon. Plus, KG's close to leveling up, so I kind of want to get in there. Okay. 10 damage. Got it. I got this. What? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was the scariest thing. Um, another ember won't kill me. Let me just put him down. Oh. Remember my rule about potions? If you use one, I get to use one. So should I need to... I'll use a potion. But I didn't need to, thankfully. I I watched how much damage the first one dealt to me, and I knew even a crit wouldn't kill me. I'm thinking he's going to evolve at level 16, so that's why I wanted to really level him up on screen, so I could... Are we not going to evolve? Seriously, dude? You, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite the interesting team. Hope you do come to the Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial. The trial of Ilma. You can get there from Route 2. The road to the decks of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. Um, in Hawaii, Aloha and means hi and goodbye. Are you, are you really not evolving, though, dude? Huh. He's level 16 and he didn't evolve. Well. Thanks for the item, but... I don't use items in battle unless my opponent does. But they can sell for a lot of money, so I'm going to take them. Well, I was really expecting to um, evolve there, so I'm feeling kind of awkward right now. <laughs> I've been trying to evolve my Pichu as well. Ooh, what's that? That looks nice. Can you get to it? Golden Pokeball. I need to switch my Pokemon around a little bit. Well, you know what? I'm just going to potion them up just so I don't have to worry about damaging too much. And besides, I need to um, train a little bit on everybody. I have a level 8 Gordo. My strongest are level 16, and that's my Pichu because I was trying to get him to evolve. Ah, got a TM for Echoed Voice. I could teach my, teach my entire team Echoed Voice. That'd be a little bit obnoxious, though, I think. Okay, so Gordo versus the Yungus. I do not think this is a good matchup. Only because... I have, like, zero defense to speak of on this Pokemon. But yeah, it's... 
I was really expecting him to evolve at level 16. That's when most starters evolve. You can look at the, um, I mean, and the grass types tend to evolve even before the other ones. So needless to say, I was slightly surprised. Um, but I guess we can close this episode out by heading into Route 2 and seeing what I can catch. Um, hoping to round out my team a little bit more. But I bet we're about to hit a cutscene, too. Wait for me, Music Hev. Of course, Lily. I'll wait for you. I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't even figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on your, on your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said the island challenges were once a journey to made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle the, against guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. People in Iji Town said the Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, don't they? If you can meet the Tapu Koko once more, do you think we could find the answer as to why it saved us? You and Nib. Need that day, Music Kev? <laughs> Music Kev, good luck on your first trial. I hope it goes well for you. Thanks. Huh. Okay, we'll give the guy a little pat. Who's a good Tauros? Yes, you are. And yet, seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! Huh. Oh, off he goes. You gonna play tag now? Mele Mele Kahuna never loses, friend. Is this route two? This is route two. New route. New chance for a Pokemon. Oh, wait. That is... Interesting. Really interesting. I guess Makuhito really wanted to battle. This is not a job for Gordo. If anything, this is a job for KG. I wonder if Makuhita is always the Pokemon you see there. I'll have to catch up with Music Kells later and see what she gets. Um, don't think that this will kill it. Okay. Yep. Those are very big hands slapping my Pokemon. Oh my gosh, can you chill out, bro? Hits five times, but it's not very effective, so that's fine. Alright, um, fat Pokemon tend to use, tend to need a Great Ball. Okay. The last thing I need is for you to crit. Um... think I can get away with this. Cool. Oh man, and crits plus this could be bad. Yeah. Okay, good. I only hit twice. Alright. One more shot. I have two more great balls, and hopefully I can get them in the bag. Come on. There we go. Okay. There's some experience points for everybody. And now, we have a Makuhita. Makes sense. I mean, I guess I'm on an island that's based around um, Hawaii. It was originally brought here from another region, but now Makuhito from Alola are more famous. Interesting. We're gonna nickname him. We nickname him Sumo. Sumo. Sumoro. Yeah, Sumoro. We're gonna call him Sumoro. And he's been added to my party now. Oh, I got a citrus berry. 
Ooh, bugger. I did not mean to... I did not mean to, um... Get caught by your view. Okay. Crystal, let's do this. Ghastly, eh? Gordo can't actually hit you. Um... I don't have a lot of options available to me. Let's go with, um... Woody's gonna take care of this. Okay. Spite would reduce the PP of the move, so I'm not too concerned about that. Being part normal type is definitely gonna help me out here. Because ghost types, ghost uh, moves don't affect normal types, so I'm actually completely immune to damage from Gasly. Not to mention it's an easy win for Gordo. Um, sure, we'll learn Amnesia. Sharply special defense. Um, you know what? I like happy hour to get more money, but I'm probably not going to use it. Amnesia, I might actually use. If he can learn a move like Iron Defense or something, that'd be fantastic, because that's what he's missing, is a high defense stat. What are you going to say? Have you seen the way the gra Wrestling Grass has a Pokemon that is dying to pounce since an easy trainer? Battling those feisty creatures can be worth if they drop items after battle. Okay. So there's always going to be a Pokemon out there that's going to wrestle the grass, but it might not be always a Makuhita. I'm a little bit disappointed that that's the one I caught, but what are you going to do? Let's see who we have. There's our team as it stands right now, and I'm going to sign out, making today a shorter episode. I have a lot of level grinding to do with my new Pokemon. I'm Musikov, and we'll see you next time on... And make sure you stay around for um, the art update from Artisticale as well. And see, we'll see if she also got attacked by a Makuhita. See you then. Bye. Alola YouTube, Artistical is back. And guess who evolved? That's right, Medley. The kissy lip beak effect is funny. You'll see it on Musikevs. I hope. A little bit about Medley. You know how Pokemon have those little personality things? For example, Artie is alert to sounds. Well, Medley likes to eat. So every time she's in battle, she's thinking of Poke Beans. You'd think that that would be a Munchlax characteristic, but no. My thin, speedy bird is the gluttonous one. I even gave her some pokey beans to make her happy. Still thinking about them. I shouldn't have given in to her cravings. Now she'll just want them more now that she's gotten a taste of them. Anyway, grinding aside, I better get on with the story. So, Team Skull. They seem like that stereotypical middle-aged guy who's trying to be cool like the teens. They're morons, really. And I love that the game basically says so. No one is afraid of them. It makes it more realistic that an 11-year-old kid can take them down. I really am enjoying it so far, which is saying something for a Pokemon game. So kudos, Game Freak. You finally did it.